George. George was a longtime friend who came down with stomach cancer, which spread. He was a strong Christian with a faith I can only admire. He actually asked for me to be with him during his last week. I was pleased to sit with my friend, and his conversation was mostly about the Bible. He knew it better than anyone I ever met. They had great trouble handling his pain and suffered so quietly, enduring pain I can only imagine. George seemed to know how much time he had left. When I left in the morning on the seventh night, he held my hand and said to me, One more night, Bernie. I thought about that most of the day instead of sleeping. When I came in and all family and nurses left us, he asked me to come closer. George said, I don't see well or hear, and it's so hard to speak. I told him, We really don't have to speak. I will just read your favorite verses to you. He said, There is no more time, Bernie. I see the beauty, the wonder. Oh, Bernie, it is so glorious. I moved closer and asked him what he was seeing. He never answered, so I asked him again. His eyes were open. Then I noticed he was no longer breathing. He had left us. How do you handle such a thing? I only sat in awe and wonder for half an hour or so before I called the nurses. When they came, they seemed more concerned about me. I guess I must have looked shook up. I was. I stayed a couple more hours expecting family to come, but no one came. With morning, the funeral people came, so I left and sat in the car a while, thinking about what happened. Then I went down to the river at a lonely spot and took out my fishing rod. I planned to sit for an hour and gather myself together before I went home. After a while, I got up from the rock and walked to the car. When I started it, the clock said 12.10 noon. Not working, I said. I looked at my wristwatch. It was really 12.10. I parked by the road and tried to figure out where over five hours went. Somehow, I had lost five hours. I was very upset and frightened, went home and told Jackie. Her response was to phone hospice and told them, Bernie can't come anymore for a while. They came to the house, and upon hearing the story, I never got called for three months. I now know I am not so tough at all.